We crave it, we yearn for it, and yet we often find ourselves building walls instead of bridges. Trust, that elusive cornerstone of any meaningful relationship, requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to embrace the unknown. It's about showing up authentically, scars and all, and believing that our worthiness is not contingent on perfection. In this journey of building trust, we learn to navigate the delicate dance between holding on and letting go, between setting boundaries and offering grace. Imagine a relationship where you can truly be seen and heard, where your thoughts and feelings are met with empathy and understanding. That's the power of transparent communication. It's about moving beyond the surface level and engaging in open, honest dialogue. It's about sharing our joys and triumphs, but also our fears and insecurities, knowing that our vulnerability will be met with compassion, not judgment. Transparent communication requires courage, the courage to speak our truth, even when our voice trembles. It demands active listening, a willingness to truly hear and understand our partner's perspective, even when it differs from our own. When we communicate with transparency, we create a safe space for authenticity, allowing trust to flourish. Think about a time when you felt truly heard by your partner. What did that experience feel like? Did it deepen your connection? Now consider a time when communication broke down. What were the barriers? How did it impact the relationship? Building trust through transparent communication is an ongoing process. It's about showing up every day, ready to engage in meaningful conversations, to listen with our hearts, and to speak our truths with courage and kindness. Remember, vulnerability is not weakness. It's the birthplace of connection. Trust thrives on consistency. It's built on the small everyday acts of keeping our word, of following through on our commitments, of being present and reliable. Coherence is about aligning our actions with our words so our partners know they can count on us. Think of it like this. Every time we keep a promise, big or small, we make a deposit into the emotional bank account of our relationship. We demonstrate our trustworthiness, reinforcing the foundation of security and stability. Conversely, when we break promises, when our actions don't match our words, we make withdrawals from that account, chipping away at the trust we've worked so hard to build. Coherence isn't about being perfect. We're all human and we will inevitably make mistakes. It's about acknowledging those missteps, taking responsibility for our actions and making amends. It's about showing up consistently, even when it's hard, even when we're tired or stressed. Building a relationship where our partners feel safe and secure requires us to be dependable and trustworthy. It's about being present, both physically and emotionally. It's about showing up with our whole hearts, ready to listen, to support and to be a source of strength and stability. Trust is built on a foundation of integrity. It's about being honest and ethical in all our interactions, both big and small. It's about being transparent with our finances, our past experiences, and our hopes for the future. When we're open and honest about our vulnerabilities, when we refuse to engage in deceit or manipulation, we create a safe space for authenticity. We demonstrate that our partners can trust us with their hearts and their vulnerabilities. Ethical behavior also extends to how we treat others outside the relationship. Do our actions align with our values? Are we kind, compassionate, and respectful in our interactions with the world around us? Our partners are constantly observing us, not just in our interactions with them, but also in how we engage with the world. When they see us living a life of integrity, it deepens their trust and respect. Remember, trust is not built overnight. It's a process of making ethical choices, day after day, in all aspects of our lives. It's about showing up with integrity, even when no one is watching. Setting boundaries is not about building walls. It's about creating healthy fences that protect the garden of our relationship. It's about communicating our needs and limits with love and respect, while also honoring the needs and limits of our partners. Boundaries are essential for fostering trust because they create a sense of safety and security. When we know where we stand, when we feel confident in our ability to voice our needs, we're more likely to feel safe and secure in the relationship. Setting boundaries requires courage, the courage to speak up for ourselves, even when it feels uncomfortable. It also requires compassion, the ability to understand and respect our partner's boundaries, even when they differ from our own. Think of boundaries as a form of self-care, 
When we set healthy limits, we are taking care of our own emotional well-being, which in turn allows us to show up more fully in our relationships. Life is a tapestry woven with threads of joy, sorrow, triumph, and adversity. In the tapestry of a relationship, empathy and support are the threads that bind us together, offering solace and strength during challenging times. Empathy is the ability to step into our partner's shoes, to see the world through their eyes, and to feel their emotions as if they were our own. It's about offering a listening ear, a shoulder to cry on, and a heart that understands. Support is about showing up for our partners, not just in words but in actions. It's about being there for them during difficult times, offering practical help, and providing a safe space for them to process their emotions. When we offer empathy and support, we create a safe haven for vulnerability. We communicate to our partners that they are not alone, that their struggles matter, and that we will be there for them no matter what. We're all human, and we all make mistakes. It's an inevitable part of the human experience, but it's what we do after we make those mistakes that truly defines our character and impacts our relationships. Accountability is about taking ownership of our actions, acknowledging the impact of our behavior, and making amends. When we mess up, and we will, it's crucial to resist the urge to deflect blame, make excuses, or minimize the situation. Instead, we need to approach our partners with humility, acknowledging the pain we've caused and expressing genuine remorse. Accountability is not about dwelling in shame or guilt. It's about taking responsibility and making amends so we can move forward together. It's about demonstrating that our commitment to the relationship is stronger than our mistakes. Remember, trust is a fragile thing, easily broken, but possible to rebuild with patience, compassion, and a willingness to own our actions. Relationships thrive when both partners feel seen, heard, and respected. When it comes to making important decisions, involving our partners is not just about being considerate. It's about acknowledging that their thoughts, feelings, and opinions hold equal weight. Agreeable choice-making is about finding solutions that work for both partners, even if it requires compromise and flexibility. It's about approaching decision-making as a team, recognizing that we're in this together. When we consistently involve our partners in the decision-making process, we demonstrate that we value their perspectives and that we're committed to building a life together that honors both our needs. Vulnerability is often perceived as weakness, but in the context of a relationship, it's the very foundation of intimacy and trust. It's about allowing ourselves to be seen, truly seen, by our partners with all our imperfections and insecurities. Vulnerability requires courage, the courage to step outside our comfort zones, to let down our guards, and to share the deepest parts of ourselves with another human being. It's about expressing our fears, our dreams, our longings, knowing that our vulnerability will be met with love and acceptance. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable with our partners, we create a space for deep connection. We communicate that we trust them with our hearts, our fears, and our deepest desires. Remember, vulnerability is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process of showing up authentically in our relationships day after day. Forgiveness. Releasing the weight of resentment. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness. It's an act of strength. It's a conscious choice to release the grip of resentment, anger and hurt, not for the other person, but for ourselves. Holding on to grudges only keeps us tethered to the past, preventing us from moving forward. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning hurtful behavior. It simply means choosing to let go of the anger and resentment that keep us stuck. It's about acknowledging the pain, allowing ourselves to feel it fully, and then making a conscious choice to release it. Forgiving someone who has hurt us is not easy. It takes time, patience, and a willingness to look inward and examine our own pain. But the rewards of forgiveness are immeasurable. When we choose to forgive, we free ourselves from the weight of resentment, allowing space for healing and growth. Dedication to progress growing together. Relationships like gardens require constant tending. They need to be nurtured, cared for, and allowed to grow. Dedication to progress is about approaching our relationships with a growth mindset. 
recognizing that change is inevitable and that challenges are opportunities for learning and deepening our connection. It's about being willing to do the work, both individually and together. It's about attending couples counseling, reading relationship books, and engaging in open and honest conversations about our needs and desires. Dedication to progress means never becoming complacent, never taking our relationship for granted. It's about continuously striving to be the best partners we can be, knowing that growth is an ongoing journey, not a destination. Quality time, the gift of presence. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of everyday life, neglecting the very relationships that matter most. Quality time is about making a conscious effort to carve out dedicated time for our partners, time free from distractions, where we can truly connect on a deeper level. It's about putting down our phones, turning off the television, and truly being present with each other. It's about creating shared experiences, whether it's going on a date night, cooking a meal together, or simply cuddling up on the couch and talking. Quality time is about creating a sacred space where we can reconnect, recharge, and deepen our bond. It's about reminding ourselves why we fell in love in the first place and nurturing the flame of our connection. Trust the bridge to intimacy. Building trust in a relationship is a courageous act of vulnerability and a testament to our belief in the power of connection. It's about showing up authentically, scars and all, and believing that we are worthy of love and belonging. It's about embracing imperfection, both in ourselves and our partners, and choosing to meet those imperfections with compassion and understanding.